what has to be done in all cases, I think, is to ground understanding of human rights in that very deep sense of right and wrong. The road to this conviction began for University of Arizona Regents Professor James Anaya in a fairly typical way for a college grad. I wasn't quite ready to just go out in the world and start working, I realized that. Uh, so going to the law school and uh, uh, it was, was an option. And I happened to get into a good law school and uh, the rest is, in a sense, history, I guess. This is 3 News. Professor James Anaya, a United As a UN special rapporteur, Anaya now engages the concerns of the world's indigenous peoples. One, promotion of indigenous peoples' rights, the other, uh, extraction of natural resources. So. Bringing their problems from the margins to center stage. Because for Maori, human rights just doesn't exist in this country. If you're lucky enough to work with them on these projects, then you have the opportunity to work with somebody who's globally engaged. A word that Every university in the country uses global engagement. Now here, there's a human being who really is, and he's doing it for the people in the world who most need his help. I think my biggest contribution is no, no, not so much what I as an individual or th from my position as special rapporteur alone have done. The contribution that I see myself being able to make uh, on an ongoing basis, on a fairly consistent basis, is helping to catalyze local dynamics. Anaya spent most of his childhood in the Southwest. He attended the University of New Mexico and then Harvard Law. Returning to New Mexico, he began work in a small firm specializing in tribal law and civil rights. In the mid-80s, when I started practice, practicing law, um, native peoples or indigenous peoples from around the world were increasingly going to the United Nations and other international forums to, to have their grievances addressed or try to have their grievances addressed having not received sufficient or adequate responses within their domestic local settings and I wanted to explore the possibility of as a lawyer uh, moving forward in these efforts at the international level. His work contributed to the 2006 UN Declaration of Rights for Indigenous Peoples. Key to those rights, land. That symbiosis that has existed between Indigenous Peoples and their traditional territories is very deep and embedded in Indigenous societies. And so for Indigenous people, uh, land represents the people in a very fundamental sense. It represents uh, where they came from, it represents various dimensions of the community, the culture. We introduced uh, uh, the Declaration last time. We talked about it, what its underlying philosophy are, what the Anaya's global work is supported by his position as one of the leading scholars at the UA Indigenous Peoples Law and Policy Program. Why are they saying that? This widely recognized center provides legal assistance to indigenous peoples and important hands-on training for its students. Good morning, how are you guys doing? Good. Good, how about you? Oftentimes, some of these people are, are very marginalized and they don't have access to different legal remedies within their home countries. Um, so oftentimes we'll get some kind of claims advanced by non-governmental organizations such as Amnesty saying, you know, here's a problem. Another way is they'll find Professor and I's email address and say, we're having this problem. Anaya's teaching and advocacy are deeply rooted in his groundbreaking scholarship, which includes important publications in the fields of human rights and indigenous peoples. Anaya logs countless hours developing legal frameworks to complex problems. Many hours as well are spent in the air. I personally don't know how he does it. And I think that um, he has an amazing capacity to live in multiple time zones at once. <laughs> but each place he goes, he really gets in the thick of it. One of the, the greatest feelings is when I get off the plane at Tucson Airport and smell that uh, southern Arizona air and see the sky. For Anaya, home and family provide a needed balance. 
I have to be an optimist. The reason I, I get up and go to work and teach students and do the work that I do with the United Nations, and write the scholarship I write, is because I think things can get better. You kind of forget that there is a whole world out there that still needs some help. And just seeing the people's faces when they were able to express their gratitude for Anaya, taking the time to listen to them, taking the time to really understand what was going on and that someone actually cares. Professor Anaya was that somebody.